Okay, we have two uh, consumption functions, C equals 600 plus 0.75 disposable income. C equals 500 plus 0.75 disposable income. And the question is, you've given a list of factors and ask whether this factor explains the difference between these functions. The first one is to ask, is it the marginal propensity to consume? If you look at the two functions, you can see it's indeed not, because they have the same marginal propensity to consume, therefore the slope of this consumption function will be the same. Then the question C, so it's not the marginal propensity to consume. They want to know, is it the marginal propensity to save? Now, in both cases, the marginal propensity to save is equal to 0.25. So that is not the reason for the difference. The difference lies into, the, into something to do with the, the um, autonomous consumption. When any of those factors that influences autonomous consumption, that is those non-income determinants of consumption spending, will then explain the difference. For instance the, instance, the wealth position. And we can assume maybe this household is richer than this household in terms of their wealth. And therefore they can have a higher consumption spending. Another reason that's listed there is access to credit. Maybe this household has easier and cheaper access to credit than this household to explain the difference in consumption behavior.